you for your interest in Kapow software. In this video, I'll be demonstrating automating content migration into Sitecore using the Sitecore to Kapow API. This is the Kapow Extraction Browser. The Extraction Browser allows us to interact with and extract content directly from a website. We can extract visual components from the website, such as images or text, along with non-visual values, such as metadata from the HTML, or properties from the browser, such as the URL. The content of interest is selected visually and mapped into a structured data object with attributes that you define. This is an overview of Kapow's content migration process. The content is extracted directly from the website or other sources with Kapow robots and stored into an intermediate database. I'll be showing how these tables are generated automatically to match the data structure of the templates in Sitecore. Once all the content has been extracted and transformed to match the template structures in Sitecore, the content is then uploaded into Sitecore using the Sitecore to Kapow API. The first step of the content migration process is to do an inventory of the website. The steps of the inventory robot up above were created simply by interacting with the website in the extraction browser. This robot loads each page of the website into the extraction browser and then uses the for each URL step to loop through the website and find each URL on the page. The steps that follow extract the URL from the website and then validate that the URL belongs to the current domain. The content type of the link is also extracted and saved into the database. So after the inventory robot is run, we'll have a database table of all the URLs that make up the website. This represents our to-do list for our content migration. In our Sitecore account, we've included the templates that we want to use in our content migration project. We have a group of templates in our articles group and a group of templates in our products group. This is the query Sitecore templates robot. It's included as part of the Sitecore to Kapow API. This robot logs into Sitecore and then query Sitecore for the templates that are in our project. Sitecore returns an XML file that is then parsed through and then type files are created in Kapow that we can map the content that we extract from the HTML files into. So I'll go to debug mode, run this robot, and the result is that we'll see a groups folder created here in our project. The group folder will contain the same groups of templates that we had in our Sitecore project. Here we can see each type file for each of the templates. Now we can create our extraction robot and extract content into any one of these template structures. We'll use the news article page for this first extraction robot. We also want to create tables in our intermediate staging database to put the content into. To do this, I go up to Tools, Create Database Table, select the database that I want to create the tables in, and then mark whichever data templates I want to create a table for. So we'll create a news article page table. I hit Generate SQL, hit Execute, and this creates a new table with all the same attribute fields as this data template. This extraction robot first queries the inventory database for all of the HTML pages. Each HTML page is then loaded, and then from here, we can extract the category value directly from the HTML, and then we're going to extract all of the articles that are in the HTML. There could be one article, or there could be many articles. This for each tag loop step will find all the articles on the page, and then extract each field from the article as defined by the following extraction steps. We're going to extract the title, and that's going to get mapped into our data structure down here to the bottom right and then the subtitle, and then the date, and the author, and then the body of the article. Now that the news article page attributes are populated, the last step will store these values into our intermediate staging database. And then once that item is stored, we're going to go through the loop and find each of the articles that follow on this page. Once all the articles are stored into the database from this HTML page, we go to the outer loop and the next HTML page is loaded, and then all of those articles are saved to the database using this structure that we imported from Sitecore. I'll run the robot now, and we can see all the articles extracted to the staging database. This next robot uploads the articles to Sitecore. We first log into Sitecore, and then we create the XML file that we'll use to upload these articles to Sitecore using the Sitecore API. We're going to loop through our database of articles, getting each article, and doing the following steps with that article. The first step assigns a document ID to the article. The next step updates the database with this ID. And then we'll get the template for the XML item structure, which looks like this. The variables in this XML skeleton are replaced with the attributes from the article. The fully populated XML item is then appended to the XML file. The steps that follow the query database loop step will be repeated for each article in the database, and an XML item will be added for each article to the XML file. And then we'll add the close tags onto the end of the XML file, and then upload the file to Sitecore. We'll go to debug mode, run the robot, and we can see the articles are very quickly mapped into the XML file 
and upload it into Sitecore. This is what the XML file looks like, and here are the articles in Sitecore. If you have any questions, or you would like to see a more in-depth content migration demonstration, please use the information below to contact Content Migration Sales at Kapow Software.